this is a word for who, whosoever will and whosoever resonates. You know, uh, you get a personal prophecy, but prophecy is not for private interpretation. If, if a word is spoken to someone and it resonates with your spirit, like, I, I thought so too, I thought God told that to me, or I have to believe that and I want to believe it some more, then it applies to you and you can grab a hold I want to talk to you, and you're going to know who you are. As you identify yourself, I want you to stand to your feet, because it's a whole bunch of you. The Holy Spirit heard you in your quiet time, and maybe you were talking to your, your friend or your spouse, and you said these words. If money was no object, I would do, and I would do, and I would do this. I would want to do that. If money was no object, stand to your feet. You know who you are. It's almost everybody. <laughs> Especially that couple in the back, you both need to stand up. You got, you got big dreams and you got big vision. And God said, you're included in this. And that's how this started because I saw you. And it's like I saw it in the spirit. I saw you sipping your coffee. And you said, if we could, we would. If, if money was available, we would do this and that. And it's about dreams and it's about visions. And the father said, because money's not your object, None of you. I'm looking you in the eye. Money's not your object. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. They are the objects of your affection. So the Father says, today I'm releasing the finances. I'm releasing the ability to do your dreams and to do your visions. And I break a curse of poverty off of every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I command the resources of heaven to flow to you, the chump truck to come by your house, and drop loads of cash, put it in your bank, uh, bring you inheritances, bring you treasures out of darkness in the name of Jesus. The Father says, you make a list. I'll be checking it twice. You've not been naughty, but very, very nice. He said, I want you to write your dream and write your vision and make it plain on paper according to Habakkuk that he that reads it can run with it. And you're going to begin the process, but you're going to be... Uh, um, having others do the work for you because you're the carrier and the one who gets the vision leads the vision. You must believe what he told you. If it's good, it came from the Father and he has all the resources of the earth to back up the dream and back up the vision that he dropped in you before you came to earth by the Spirit and now is the time. He's a good, he's a good farmer. If you plant a crop, you don't spend a lot of money planting your crop, and you don't spend a lot of money when you're watering your crop. But when it's harvest time, yes. when it's harvest yes. time, yes. is when the farmer spends the most money. So he knows he can trust you, and that's why you're standing, because you said in your heart, if I could, I would. I'd build a shelter for the poor. I would feed the homeless. I would take in the veterans. I would do, I would bring children to orphanages, and I would scoop them up, and I would take them home, and I would go to foreign fields. It's all here. It's all in your heart. The Father gave it to you. And you believe that you receive it right now in Jesus' name. Thank you for it, Father. Amen. 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 You may be seated. Yeah, I'm still running. Yeah, I did. Little sister with pretty silver hair, you came with this darling up front. What is your name? Carol. Carol. Let me. I got stuck. Start again. 